you're old enough to remember the end of the Korean War, you certainly remember this. Does anybody want to go home? No! 21 American soldiers who had been POWs in Korea stood up, sided with their communist captors, and refused to come home. My name is Harold Webb. America was shocked. They were called turncoats, traitors, commies. This is a very happy moment for me, for now I am free. Free from McCarthy. And 33 years ago, Corporal Harold Webb was despised for saying what he believed to be true. I can stand up and take, my, take part in fighting for peace and opposing war. Some may think I'm forced to stay behind, but on the contrary, I am here because I want to be. I'm here to fight for my rights and the rights of the American people. Had I gone home, this would have been impossible. I'm tired. I just want to come home, that's all. And the State Department has told me that I am no longer an American. They've told me that I lost my citizenship as an American. Harold Webb, now 55 years old, wants to live in America. Last year, after 33 years of living in communist countries, first in China, then in Poland, Webb returned quietly to the United States, ending up here at his sister's house in Jeffersonville, Indiana. He was finally home. At first, Webb picked up his life as if he had never been away, certain in his own mind that he still was an American citizen. He thought that after 33 years, what he did in Korea would have been forgotten, perhaps even forgiven. Did you collaborate with the enemy? No, I did not. I have never collaborated with the enemy. I express my views against war, and I don't think that's collaboration. Do you think that what you did was a patriotic American act? You're staying behind? Staying behind was not, but protesting was. That was patriotic. I think that was patriotic. I was used by the enemy by protesting the war. I made a mistake by going to China. They used me as a tool for making their propaganda. Most of the 21 Americans who marched defiantly off to China quickly became disillusioned and trickled home. But Webb was different. He stayed behind and studied English in a Chinese university. Six years later, he moved on to Poland, where he got married, settled down, and made a meager living teaching English. We had no idea where he was. The last that we heard was that he was somewhere in China. Webb's sister, Catherine, was just 17 years old when her brother refused to come home after the war. She and her army husband were not immune to the outrage the country felt towards the turncoats. She was so ashamed that she turned against her own brother. Well, um, we were embarrassed to say, in fact, to my regret, for uh, from that length of time on, I have uh, denied that I had a brother. Meanwhile, Webb realized he'd made a mistake and wanted to come home. He wrote repeatedly to Catherine, the only person he believed could help him, but there was no reply from her. Years later, they both found out why. Letters were mailed to me, to my aunt's house, but uh, I did not receive them. Why not? Because my aunt was advised to turn the letters over to the FBI, and uh, they have, I suppose, still the letters. I don't know. You've never seen the letters? I've not, no. When he did not hear from his sister, Webb gave up trying to come home. He started raising his own family in Poland, the family he hasn't seen in 15 months. I know that I shall never be able to do much for them. I am too old to do that. And everything that I do now is only related to get my wife and family here. His wife and two teenage daughters are waiting in Katowice, hoping to join him soon in America. The reason Webb didn't leave Poland sooner is that Polish law required him to have an invitation from a relative. And Catherine, the only relative he could turn to, had no idea how to contact him. So for 25 years, he worked hard to blend into Polish life and unwittingly jeopardized his rights ever to return to America as a U.S. citizen. When the State Department examined Harold Webb's case, ironically, it was what he did in Poland, not his cooperation with the communists in Korea and China, that caused the department to say he's no longer a U.S. citizen. Officials here refused to discuss Webb's case on camera, but we do know this. Webb did things the department says can cost a person living abroad his U.S. citizenship. He married a foreign national. 
He failed to register his children as U.S. citizens. And worst of all, he became a citizen of Poland. But in spite of all that, Webb says he never intended to give up his U.S. citizenship. I don't think what I did was un-American. And I think that taking citizenship to protect my family in that country and our security in that country, since I had to live there, and I had no idea that I would be able to come home, I had no contact with my family here during those years, I don't think that was un-American either, because I did not denounce my citizenship. Stand by. In this half hour, we'll hear the story of... Webb was so stunned by the State Department's decision that he decided to go public with his story. He appeared on a local television program in Louisville, Kentucky. We were traitors, we were collaborators, everybody in the newspapers, all the newspapers were saying that at that time. And, uh... I felt that I could not come back to this country. It was his fine. aim was to generate public support, but to his surprise, he triggered another reaction. That guy don't deserve to be in this country. He needs to get out as soon as possible, and all like him. Charlie Frost is livid, and he is not alone. These Korean War veterans were in the same POW camp with Webb, but they resisted their communist captors and came home. Webb's appearance on their local station opened old wounds deserting his country, his family. Not to speak of the many that died on his behalf for his freedom, and then him having the nerve to want to come back here and enjoy what we suffered and the many that died for, of all the nerve. I want him deported, sent back. He chose uh, his way of life. He made that decision in 1953 that he would stay there and, 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 and believe in his com communist doctrine. I did not desert the army. I did not desert the front. Webb is baffled by their anger. Can he tell me why we were in Korea? If he can explain it to me, then I can get down before him on my knees and say, and beg for his forgiveness. Us old dumb country boys didn't have much education at all, but we're here. We had common sense, that's all it took, to say no to communism. I am certainly not a communist today wanting to come back to this country. How can they take him away? How can they make him leave? He is an American. Webb might still be in Poland if Catherine had not discovered by accident he was living there. An interview with Webb had been published in newspapers. And in 1981, when she and her army husband were stationed in Germany, Catherine picked up the phone and called her brother. It was the first time they had talked in 31 years. It was hard, it was very hard. <laughs> I had tried so long. I had been trying for years to contact my family. My wife and children were very happy also. They, were, they couldn't believe it. What did you say to your sister? I said, it's my sister. That's all I could say. I could, I could hardly speak with her. I could hardly speak with her. Love me tender, love me tender. In order for Poland to let Webb go, Catherine, now divorced, formally invited him to come back to the United States. He came alone, traveling on his Polish passport. Once here, he started the process to bring his wife and children to America by applying for a U.S. passport. It was then the State Department informed him that he was no longer a citizen. It's gonna happen. The State Department has given Webb a year in which he can make an appeal for his citizenship. He must prove, in part, that in spite of what he has done, he always considered himself an American citizen. And that, of course, is something Jack Browning and the other former POWs think Webb is going to have a hard time doing. When a man renounces his country, his government, and stays in a godforsaken country like Korea, China, Poland or wherever, w would you think that he still intended to be a citizen here after 33 years? He could be buried right beside me. I'm going to be buried in National Cemetery. And I might climb out and leave. <laughs> after 33 years, sneaking back into the United States and didn't hear that nobody heard the other side. But let me tell you, Mr. Webb, we're still here. We're still here and, and we'll be here. We'll do everything we can to keep you from getting citizenship. I am tired. I am very tired. And I want to bring my wife and children here. And they want to come here with me. That's all I want. That's all I want out of anything. 